Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rebecca, aka Vegan Bodega Cat, and today's Is It Hype was a little bit of a struggle. I initially wanted to go to Einstein Bagels to cover that collab they're doing with Diet Cheese. However, I realized that the only Einstein Bagels that is near me isn't even existing. Like, it's on Google Maps, but it's not actually there when I got to the place. So, it's later in the day, we're fighting the light here, and we've made our way down to Ja Ja Ja, which is a vegan Mexican spot. And I have eaten here once before, however, I only got dessert that time. Um, I had the flan and the churros, both were super, super good. But today we're here for a real meal. Unfortunately, I'm gonna assume it's gonna have to be a voiceover video today. I don't know what kind of music they're playing in there, but it's probably hella loud and hard to speak over. But I will do my best to inform you on everything. I'll write down notes, it'll be great, we'll have a good time. So, let's do this. First of all, the decor in here is adorable. I have a thing for the antique blue and orange look and that's the theme they went for. Very Instagrammable. If you're wondering where I got this adorable shirt, it's my boyfriend's. His handle is at what's good Birdo on Instagram and YouTube. He's also out of this shirt specifically, but he has these hats out right now and he comes out with new designs every once in a while, so I recommend you go check him out. For an appetizer, we went with the nachos and we were recommended to get the chorizo burrito on Instagram so many times, so we went with that. And as a taco, we went with the buffalo flour because I love me some deep fried cauliflower. For dessert, we went with flan. Now we have had flan here before, but it was so good we could not help but get it again. I thought this hot sauce trio was so interesting, especially since the mild one was charcoal. Unfortunately, I forgot to try it for you guys, so if you're curious, then go try it out for yourself. The food actually came out quite quickly. We were pretty happy with that. Here's that chorizo burrito. It comes smothered in three different sauces. Up next is the flan. It came with coconut whipped cream and some cacao nibs. And here are the buffalo cauliflower tacos, looking so crispy and delicious. But the most amazing thing on the table was by far these nachos. They were so big and I love these cute little horns they put on the top with peppers. Up until this point, the best vegan nachos I've had were at Bar Verde. They have a really good butternut cheese sauce. However, I have to say that these nachos kind of blew those out of the water. I don't think I've ever had better nachos in my life. 10 out of 10, 11 out of 10, definitely recommend. The nacho chips themselves were super crispy and they were covered with chorizo, fermented black beans, corn, cheese, and sour cream. I requested the guacamole extra, which was $3, but definitely worth it. The buffalo cauliflower tacos came with a buffalo and cheese sauce, some shredded carrots on the bottom, and they were topped with diced celery. I tried the cauliflower by itself at first. It was super, super crispy, which is very important. Nobody likes a soggy cauliflower. I topped the taco with the salsa that came on the side. It was kind of a milder sweet salsa. And overall, the taco was really good. If I had one critique for it, is that the bottom was just a pile of shredded carrots that like weren't dressed or anything. I would rather it was some sort of slaw, but all in all, it was a good taco. I would give it a solid eight out of 10. This 
was my first time having a smothered burrito and eating one with a knife and fork rather than picking it up with my hands. And I think I prefer hand burritos, but this one was so yummy that I excused the knife and fork this time. It was filled with the same sort of chorizo that was on the nachos, very delicious, some cauliflower rice, fermented beans, guacamole, and it was smothered in two kinds of salsa and a sour cream. Both Roberto and I were huge fans of this burrito. It was very warm and delicious and comforting. It gets a solid nine out of 10. Fantastic burrito. As I said before, drunk Rebecca has definitely had this flan, but this was the first time sober Rebecca was having it, and honestly, it did not disappoint. I've only had two good vegan flans in the past couple years. This is one of them, and the other one is from Vegatinos in California. It's a good thing I don't live near this place because God knows I'll be in here at least every other day eating this flan. Roberto and I give it a solid 9 out of 10. If you are an OG, you know, vegan bodega cat follower, then you remember a couple years ago I tried so hard to make my own vegan flan because I was craving it like crazy. That little experiment was a total failure, but at least now when I want some, I can come here. This meal for two, which had an appetizer, two entrees, and a dessert, added up to around $45, which is not the cheapest, but I feel like is pretty reasonable for a date in Manhattan. In all seriousness, I just had the best nachos of my life. Forget vegan, not vegan, I don't give a shit what you eat. This is the best nachos of my life. <laughs> and everything else was almost as good, so that's saying a lot. Like, Roberto and I were floored. We can't believe it took us so long to go there. Like, it's been, they've been here for like several months, maybe a year, like it's been a while. They've been here a while and we just, I haven't gone down for some reason. Big mistake, you really have to get down there. So hype, mega hype. One of my favorite places I've tried in a long time, like hands down. Yeah, that's all I have for today. Uh, I mega approve, not much more to say on that. Like if you like, subscribe if you wanna subscribe. If you wanna follow me on Instagram where I post almost every single day, then I'll put it right, right here. Here is nice. But yeah, that's all I have for today. Goodbye.